Welcome. Today I will have a look at uh, the one and only Nathan Oakley. Nathan Oakley. Yes, Nathan. I know that you are Nathan Oakley. For making this video I took the sound from one of Nathan's latest videos. It is a video in which he summarizes a previous debate. Note that I have taken the first 2 minutes and 40 seconds. I have not cut anything or changed anything. Let the debate or what you want to call it begin. I'm your host Nathan Oakley and if you are new to this channel or you've not done so already then be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon and join button if you'd like to become a Nathan Oakley 1980 channel member and keep up to date with the Flat Earth debate. You said your demonstration showed your evidence. Your claim, it's your claim about what well, something shouldn't do. Are you deaf? This is your claim. I'm like yesterday, I say we would have drift if Earth was spinning. You say, well, you are claiming something about a globe model. So how much drift shouldn't we have on a globe model? And I say you should, 15 degrees an hour. It's claimed Earth turns underneath helicopters. They should drift away from us, Ed. Now, you never addressed that for about a straight hour. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. You, at some stage, said they travel together. That's not 15 degrees an hour drift. So all you did was debunk 15 degrees an hour of drift. So addressing it, you said that there wasn't any drift. Debunking the claim that there is, that's supposed to prove Earth spins. So well done, you addressed it by saying there isn't any drift, like Simon Dan. No, you debunked yourself by... It's not my claim! I'm not claiming drift at 15 degrees an hour as Earth turns underneath. There's nothing for me to debunk that's my claim. It's only you who claims Earth turns underneath at 15 degrees an hour, and it doesn't, because helicopters and drone would drift away from you, and they don't. Simple. Earth's not spinning. Right, so let's get back to your video that was supposedly evidence for your claim about the sun. Who cares? You've got the sun in that inertial reference frame and Earth turning underneath it. Now, based on that claim, you're saying that Earth will turn and the sun will position itself to shine underneath the clouds. Well, that's you with a supposition that Earth is a second spinning reference frame turning under the sun. And I'm saying, no, it isn't. Simon Dan's brought this to a head. That would mean we turned underneath helicopters at 15 degrees an hour and we don't. Your only rebuttal was to say, well, it won't drift. Well, that's not drift. You need drift, moron. So the only way the sun can shine on the bottom of the cloud system is if Earth turns underneath it. And that would mean it turns under helicopters and it doesn't. You don't seem to be listening to me, Ed. You seem to wanting to take us into the same circle jerk as yesterday. I'm not going to do it. This claim involves Earth turning underneath at 15 degrees an hour and it doesn't. I can't stand Nathan's so-called debates. Nathan obviously thinks this was a good part of the live debate. You can draw several conclusions of this. The one he debates has no right to finish what he wants to say. It's only Nathan who is important. And facts are uh, uninteresting, so is evidence. Furthermore, Nathan seems to be obsessed with Simon Dan. Lately has published lots of videos with Simon Nell's name in the title. I think the reason for this is that Nathan wants a bigger audience and thinks that Simon Dan's name will draw more attention to his channel. Why does he do these shows? I do not think Nathan is really interested in science. I'm also not sure that he thinks that the earth is flat. These shows have given Nathan a meaning in life and he feels that he is someone and important. He has an audience of around 1000 who watches the live broadcasts. And there is his audience. And then it brings in some money so Nathan can buy some toys. 
I know that this was not a debunk video, because what is it to debunk when it comes to Nathan? He don't make any own research, he don't make any sense if his, most of his claims. Uh, the only thing Nathan is good on it is to interrupt other people and to be rude to his guests. So, frankly, Nathan Oakley is a very uninteresting person for me and it's nothing to the bank. So let's move on. This weekend I will publish a video uh, where I will uh, update on the uh, Compass project and the Arctic Scholarship. Uh, this will come out uh, sometimes this weekend and on Monday I will be back with a new debunk video. So over from me, have a nice weekend, see you, bye.